today what I want to talk to you about is the difference between conventional orchard management versus syntropic or regenerative orchard management. Now typically in a conventional orchard we have our target species and everything else must go. We can't have it anywhere near our target species. We're pretty much just mowing grass and often poisoning under the trees to keep any, uh, anything else growing up. And anything that does grow up must be removed, cut out and poisoned immediately. Now in centropic or regenerative orchard management, what we're doing is we're letting everything grow and we're using it to service and feed our target tree. So here's our target tree, it's jackfruit, it's probably about two years old, it's not doing as well as some of the other jackfruits in the orchard, I think it's because we're so close to the established forest here. And that's not because of the um, aleopathic effect, it's more to do with the senescence, right? These trees are gone through their exponential growth phase and now they're chilling. And their roots are influencing what's going on right here. But that's all right. So what we've got here is this has actually been mulched. This whole, we went through this orchard about four months ago at the start of November, at the start of the wet season. And we've pretty much got it down to a system where we're coming through this orchard twice a year. We're coming through right at the start of the wet season and we're chopping everything down to the ground. First we'll brush cut and take out all the sort of leafy stuff then we'll move up with machetes and we'll take out all the bushy, scrubby stuff. And uh, we're kind of letting some of the emergence and higher species get up in the meantime while our trees get established. Now, the, the thing is, the most amazing thing is, this pigeon pea's been planted. I want to explore this idea of like efficiency and work, right? Because from one perspective, we have to put in more work right now because we have to manage all these trees you know, it's more work you might say it takes a little bit longer it's going to cost perhaps a little bit more in labor because we're chopping all these trees but it's actually more efficient because these trees this pigeon pea this i think it's a brush box there i've got an acacia over the back there wild tobacco cassia center these trees are doing the mining work for us, right? It's literally putting its roots down into this soil that's accumulating all of these minerals and carbon and photosynthesizing, and it's doing all this work for us. And then I'm coming along and I'm just laying it straight down on this tree as fertilizer for my target species. Now that's a little bit more work from one perspective, but actually, when you think about the amount of work and embodied energy that goes into having to mine all of the chemical fertilizers, all of the machinery, the supply chain, all of the technology built into it, that's a lot of energy. That's a lot of work. And I would argue that that's actually not as efficient as mining the minerals locally and laying them straight on the ground, letting nature do the work for us. And then at strategic moments, we're coming in and just accelerating the process of nature. Putting this down on the ground, fertilizing our tree, creating space for it to grow more, and that's pretty much it. And in about, you know, if I kept going, it would only take me about five, ten minutes to have this tree sorted. And it's fertilized again, and I won't have to come back to it until October, November again this year. So that's just a little bit of insight what I'm thinking about when I'm out in the orchard, chopping stuff, brush cutting, that's all I think about, right? It's actually more efficient just to be letting everything grow and then harvesting the carbon, harvesting the minerals and the mining that these trees have done for us. And then we're just feeding our target species and then they're gonna do it again. So that's all from me. Drop a comment, let me know what you think of the video. Am I on the money or am I totally missing the point? Peace.